This is a video on how to make a deck of flashcards using Microsoft Word. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up the table for your cards and then in the next video I'll show you how to type in some questions. So I'm starting a new document. It's just going to be a blank document. The first thing I'm going to do is set the margins. So I go to the page layout tab and click margins and I'm going to make all the margins 0.5 one half going around all four sides. Next thing I'm going to do is insert a table. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and go to table and I want a table that has eight rows and two columns. Now I've done the math here considering my margins and so on and I'm going to select this entire table. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to table properties the first thing I need to do is hit the table tab and center this table. That's going to center it on the page. The next thing I'm going to do is go to the row tab and specify the height. The height of each row is going to be 1.21 inches. Then I'm going to go to the column tab and I'm going to have the preferred width be 3.7 inches. And finally I'm going to go to the cell tab and for vertical alignment I'm going to press center. Okay. Now these four cells right here are actually going to be one card when I get done folding this and gluing it together. And I want to have a dotted line across the middle because I'm going to have two questions on this card. So I'm going to go ahead and select these four cells. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to borders and shading. Then this bar that's right across the middle here, I'm going to select that and I'm going to make it dotted. And you see that that's dotted there. I'm going to do that again here and then I'm going to do it um, a total of three more times so that I have all four of my cards with a dotted line going across the middle borders and shading, select the crossbar, make it dotted, click the crossbar, and hit OK. So you can see now that I've paused the video and I have put a dotted line across all four cards. Now up here at the top I'm going to type in the title and this is this first card is just going to be a title card uh, telling a little bit about the deck. So I've typed in that this is a mental math flashcards and my theme is fractions. I put my name here. I think I'll center that. And on the back I'm going to say that this covers 15 mental math strategies. If you'd like to give a little bit more information on this first card you may. Now this is where I'm going to be typing in my first question. I think my first question is going to be 100 times 32 sevenths. So, in order to make this look nice, I'm going to be using the Equation Editor. So I'm going to hit Insert, come over to Equation, and inside here I'm going to put 100. Now I want to have parentheses around my 32 seconds, or 32 sevenths. So I'm going to hit Bracket, select Parentheses. Now inside here, I'm going to make a fraction. So I pick Fraction and I'm going to put 32 over 7 in here and then over here on this right hand side is where I'm going to be typing in the strategy as well as the answer. So here I've typed in the strategy. This is the multiply by 10 100 thousand strategy and down here I'm going to put my answer. Of course to multiply 100 times 32 I simply add two zeros. So I'm going to go to the insert tab. I'm going to select equation and I'm going to put a fraction here 3200 on the top and 7 on the bottom. This one will not require putting the answer in lowest terms. In the next video, I'll show you how to type in a few more questions.